Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today, guys, we're taking a look at a Delmize VMAX deck. And I'm going to show you guys why I think that Delmize VMAX is low-key underrated and slept on. I think Delmize VMAX is actually a pretty decent VMAX card. It's got two really nice attacks, um, both of which can be very nice. So we got Swinging Chain for Grass Energy. Can do third damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Reach Grass Energy on Delmize. So if you have three Grass Energy on, you can snipe something for 90 damage, which is really, really cool. You can set up Pokemon to be KO'd by Max Anchor. You can finish stuff off. You can knock out something on the bench that's got a low HP. Um, then we have Max Anchor, which can do a nice solid 240. 240 combined with Swinging Chain does let you hit numbers on VMAXs, which is really nice. And I think Delmize, just having those two attacks is really good. The fact that it has two attacks, I just really, really like. Um, we are playing it with Rillaboom, of course, and also Egg Row. We're going to be using Super Growth to power ourselves up. I tried out the Rare Candy build this deck, but as usual, I struggled to find Rare Candy Rillaboom, so I just went with the Egg Row version instead. I will say, though, I did make top four in a Sword and Shield on tournament with Delmai's Rillaboom a while back. Uh, it's actually on my Twitch channel. If you guys want to go watch the uh, the tournament run with my Delmai's Rillaboom deck, check it out. That deck obviously had to play Rare Candy because it's post-rotation. Um, and I made top four with it, and that's another reason why I just like it. Like, Swinging Chain is just an underrated attack, in my opinion. Um, so don't forget the video, guys, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Card Cavern TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack codes, get them over at Card Cavern. Card Cavern sells codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys want to pick up any set codes, like Battle Styles, Shiny Fates, Vivid Voltage, Rebel Clash, Team Up, or maybe you're looking for a specific theme deck code or a V promo code, maybe you want to get one of the new battle theme decks uh, whatever they're called <laughs> get them over at card cabin if you do get any codes over at card cabin of course guys at the checkout you can use my discount code code ldf 45 percent discount on your purchase support the channel help yourself out and up our card cabin and i'm sure card cabin will also have chilling rain codes in stock too oh and that comes out and maybe up for pre-order too so keep your eyes peeled for that and if you do get codes use code ldf so let's look at the list so this is what i'm playing for my list i did decide to go with the egg route build again i tried it out with rare candy as expected when playing a stage two deck Finding Rare Candy and Rillaboom is the hardest thing to do in PDCGO. So I just went, all right, let's just play the Egg Route build. And I don't really like playing Egg Route Rillaboom sometimes because then it becomes the Egg Route show. But in this deck, because Delmize is such a unique and versatile card, you actually use Delmize more often than not. It's not just use the Egg Route and, oh, look at that. I'm using Egg Route the entire match. You actually get value out of Delmize because it's just that cool of a card. Um, now, Max Anchor does make it so you can't attack next turn with Max Anchor. Again, now you can do Swinging Chain, but sometimes your opponent plays Mew, right? And they go to the bench. So, I am playing a lot of cards to support Delmize. I am playing a lot of switching cards like Malana. Malana can heal your Delmize, which having healing on a 330 HP Stage 1 is just really good. Also, Malana combined with Egg Row is really good too. So, we're playing two Malanas alongside some Tag Calls. Then, I also got two Bird Keeper in the deck to also move and switch and bird keeper and rillaboom decks is always just really nice to have because we're able to move rillaboom then i got two marty three research and boss i'm even trying out a cheryl we can cheryl the delmize which could be kind of cool like cheryl delmize fully heal it and then if we have an energy in our hand we can attach energy and then just go rillaboom two more energy from our deck back on delmize or if we can go cheryl or an a rod rillaboom the energy back on delmize so i'm gonna try out cheryl in this deck and see how it does with delmize today i'm just trying some stuff out with that seeing how cheryl works in these rillaboom decks because theoretically you can repower the pokemon back up instantly got some turf fields and i'm playing a vitality man in the deck very important for uh delmize to do 250 damage which i'm pretty sure is what you need to do to knock out zacian v um, and that 10 damage really does help in the math fixing too with swinging chain and max anchor on bigger v max pokemon um, it also lets your uh, Agro do 160 damage if you need to knock out a Dedenne with Calming Hurricane. I am playing Buzzmosa, trying this out also. Beast game can be pretty beneficial in combination with Swinging Chain and Max Anchor. For example, you can Swinging Chain something for 90 and then finish them off with Beast Game and take two prizes. Or you can Max Anchor like a Mewtwo or an ADP and then finish off with Beast Game. And then also take four prizes, so there's some benefit out of that. But let's go try the deck out in PCGO and see how it does. Here we go. Let's get into our first match with Delmize VMAX here. But we've lost the coin flip, which is fine. We can go second. Oh, no. Uh, for some reason, my opponent's going to go first, which means we cannot get the the egg row play we need. Our hand's okay, though. We got Thwacky. We got Grookey. Well, I say it's okay, but we actually need another base deck to kind of make this hand a little bit better. Yeah, this hand is not perfect just yet, but we'll see. We'll see if we can draw sling here. Best topic could be a Delmize or Aggro. No. No chance. Uh, we'll go... 
here. Probably just pass. I don't know. If we get donked, we get donked. I can't really do anything about this hand. Uh, my point? Okay, they're playing a Weavile. I was like wondering what the water in their deck was for. All right. Oh, they do nothing else. All right, well, that's good. Now, oh, there we go. We drew a calm. That's what I was hoping we would get. Um, might as well get Eggrow. I was going to get Delmise, which maybe I should have, but we could just get the Rillaboom now. And... Yeah, let's get the Rillaboom in play now. Dude, how much energy do you need? Jeez, game. Chill. I don't need that much energy. Not ideal, but we can get the Rillaboom down. We can build up our guy, and then we have to try to go into the Delmise, but we'll see if that happens. It's currently it's not. Okay, they have Zwyla's. Do they have a supporter? I would not mind a Marnie at all, because I don't really like having a handful of energy. But it's not too bad. We can we can kind of just spread out the energy here a little bit. And uh, just kind of spread things out. So it's not too bad, to be fair. It's not really it's not the end of the world. We can spread the energy out. Uh, we'll see my points play in, though. What kind of dark deck this is. They still have nothing. There's a quick ball we can play. We could wait a turn to play the quick ball. We're not going to be able to KO them. I don't want to do Tropical Hour. No, we can just do Tropical Hour next turn. We might as well hold the hand then. Yeah, and there's Calming Hurricane. I mean, we can save Tropical Hour. We can just hit him for 150. Save our energy and then put another energy in play next turn. Then we can just kind of go from there. If they ever set up anything, we can just hit them with a Tropical Hour GX. Now the Crowback can get killed by Beast Game or Swinging Chain. So we have that going for us. If they drew a Calm finally. So they can finally get a, uh, no, I was going to say they can get a Dedenne here, but no, they get a Weavile. Oh, they had, okay, so they were just holding their hand because they had the entire Hydreigon line in their hand. All right, makes sense. Makes sense. They were holding the hand. That makes sense. Um, still though, I don't think Eggrow's really threatened this turn. Like I got, they got the Hydreigon and the Weavile in play, but I still don't think we're threatened. Ooh. Oh, yo, they're playing my Rapidash. They're playing my Rapidash uh, Sableye Hydreigon deck. Yeah, that's kind of sick. Um, to be fair, that's actually kind of a bad matchup for us. Rope. Hmm. Okay, uh, we'll bring in the Delmise. The Rapidash is actually bulky. It can take a hit here, but if we can find Vitality Band, we can knock out the Rapidash. The problem is, is I don't want to go, um... Yeah, they're down two boss, that's good. I don't want to go, um... I don't want to go VMAX. So if we can find our Vitality Band, or we can try to find, like, a Malu and Lana, that'll be pretty good. Yeah, we could, like, Vitality Band, like, either on Eggrow or something, because we, like, Tropical Hour would probably be the best thing we could do. Bossing the Sableye would be good, but they have the Weavile in place, so that can knock me out. But... <laughs> hmm. Okay. If we can evolve the Delmice VMAX. Oh no, they're gonna hit the egg row. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, we drew a Marnie. That's nice. Still gonna play Quick Ball though. Not sure what I really need. What am I like? What am I going crow bad? Just try to dig dig through the deck a little bit. We'll probably just go Delmice. Alright, we'll do uh we'll do the uh Rillaboom here and get energy on the um the active. We're probably just gonna knock them out with Delmise, I guess. They hit the egg route and not the Delmise. Because now, well, they're not two boss. Now they need to find a good boss. Yeah, I don't really understand that play. There's a Cheryl. That's huge. That could be a big card in this matchup for sure. This is why I do play Cheryl, because it's pretty important in this situation where it's like if they hit me with Liberhorn, we can like just fully heal the damage they did to us, which is cool. The problem with going Delmise here is we have to, we can't attack next turn, but we can swing and chain KO with their Sableye. So this is Marnie them here. Um, I would mind getting Cricket Tune down. Now oh, we got to Dene. Oh, we got, we got Boss too. All right, not bad. I mean, this is not a bad hand. Uh, yeah, this is Max Anchor for the KO. Just get this Rapid Ash out of here. There's a chance they will probably go into another Libra Horn. Like, there is a chance. Um, they are playing a bit of a different build than I'm playing. I know some people did comment asking about playing a Weavile on the deck, and I considered playing Weavile. Um, I honestly did. I thought Weavile was going to be a good inclusion. Maybe the Weavile is actually something you could play if you want to actually play this Darkrai... Uh, La if you want to play my Darkrai Rapidash deck. Or my Hydreigon Rapidash deck. Then uh, playing that won't be bad. Okay, wow, they actually did have the knockout on my Egg Row. Okay, well, I was going to say, because they were down three boss. So I was like, are they really going to find a boss on my Egg Row? But I guess they actually had it. 
That should be their last boss, though. I only played three boss. I'm imagining they're only playing three boss, too. I right, promote the Dalmize. We will... Draw something good? Hmm. Okay, so we'll go Air Balloon. Bird Keeper. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to burn this. This is not really that useful. Get rid of this. I'm going to keep the other Malon in the deck, though, in case you get Marnied. I want to try to pull a Cheryl. I want to find Orne Rod. That's what I'm looking for, too, is Orne Rod. Uh, so we'll just grab the Egg Row. Quick ball it away for... Uh, are we Cricketune? Well, we could get Eldegoss, actually. Wow. I'll, I think we're holding the hand. I'm just going to grab Cricketune. Just get that down. We're just going to go for a... Uh, well, Swinging Chain actually KOs them because Sableye is weak to grass. So we can just go Swinging Chain and save our Max Anchor. That's pretty hype. So now we should just win. I can't imagine them knocking me out. Well, no, they could win with a Dark Moon. All right, let's see if my opponent can take down my Delmize VMAX here. And if not, we're going to win because we can either go Swinging Chain, the Crobat, if they don't get a Mew, or just knock out a 2 prizer because we have two boss in our hand. So let's see if my opponent is able to win the game this turn. Um, judging from the Hydreigon promotion, that won't happen. We might get Marnied, though, if they have one, because we have a massive hand. We have, like, ten cards in our hand. We have nine cards in our hand, I think. But, okay, let's see if they Marnie me here. Okay, nope, there is no, uh, no, no Darkrai Umbreon. So there won't be a Dark Moon coming from my opponent. Okay, well, we should win, then. It's Rapidash. Okay, ooh, a rope. Okay. Uh, does it matter what I promote? No, it doesn't. They could put a cape on the Rapidash, and then I can't one-shot it, so then we have... Well, we have Swinging Chain and Boss. Like, they have to either Stamp or Marnie me here. But they have to get a Mew down, and they can't. So I think I think it's just game over. We checkmate them with Swinging Chain, right? That's why Swinging Chain is such a good first attack. Because, like, you can just finish stuff off. It's actually, it's actually an insane attack. Swinging Chain is busted. So yeah, they're going to go Liberhorn on my Delmize, and they're just going to go... We can also just, like, Malana the Delmize, too, if we really wanted to. We have so many outs here. And they're probably out of boss. And they have a one card hand. So like, yeah, there's so much we can do. Well, let's see if they do have like a Marnie in their hand. Like, yep, they just concede. Yeah. All right, we beat them. But you know what? They were playing a uh, an LDF deck. And hey, we got a Darkness of Blaze pack. I guess we'll open that up. I haven't opened up a pack in a while on this game. Let's see what we pull here. I mean, what's even in this set that's valuable anymore? The only thing I really care about, I guess, is like a Fuller Crobat. Or secret rare Pokemon. I don't know. There's not much I need in this set anymore, to be honest. Yeah, not a great pack. All right, here we go into another match with Delmize VMAX here. And uh, we'll see what we end up playing against this time. Right, we won the coin flip. All right. Uh, we'll go second so we can do the turn one uh, Rillaboom. They might be actually, or the Egg Row. They might actually be playing a uh, Rillaboom deck themselves. They have a grass deck box and sleeve. We are mulliganing here. Revealing we are playing some kind of Rillaboom deck. Okay, not ideal, but I don't think they're playing. I don't think they think I'm playing like a like a an exact real boom deck. Okay, nice. We got the turn one. You'll love to see it. This is actually a pretty pretty good hand. Uh, we'll see what my opponent's got here. It'll be a fire deck. They have a send uh, score bunny coin. Mm -mm. Okay, they're playing Dragapult. That's fine. We can beat Dragapult. I think. Yeah, we should be okay. We have two rods. So they play crushing hammer. They probably do because they play Sobble. So we'll go attach, quick ball. Oh, wait, wait, bird keeper. I don't, that's a tough discard, to be honest. And all right, we got the boomer in the deck, which is good. We can go, uh, do we want to bench Delmas? We can wait a turn. We don't have to go VMAX next turn. We can just, we're probably going to go, we're probably going to end up doing calming hurricane. So we're just going to go super growth. Don't think we're going to be using the Delmas anytime soon. We're going to save the calm in case we need it for next turn. Plus, I don't want to have this thing on the bench. We'll see if it matters. We'll see. All right. Yeah, let's see what my opponent's got here. I'm assuming they're playing Crushing Hammers, so I don't know if this energy will stick on the uh, egg grab. But if we can work our way to a Tropical Hour GX, that'd be pretty big. We just go Calming Hurricane, heal some of the damage they do to us. We have Malolan in the deck. Uh, I actually think I'm going to calm for a uh, Cricketune, to be honest. I, won't, I don't mind having a Cricketune in play. It might be a good Malolana pivot. Because I'm assuming we're going to have the Malolana the Egg Row. So I wouldn't mind getting a Cricketune down here. There's the Dragapult VMAX. 
Well, actually, I wouldn't mind getting another Grookey down, because they could target my Rillaboom with Max Phantom. I don't know if that's really going to make a difference, though. Okay, never mind. My hopes and dreams are out the window, because we're going to get hit with a Marnie. There goes my hand. All right, maybe we can get a Malon off this turn. Nope. Oh, we got a bunch of energy. Dang it. You hate to see it. I already got two horrors on, which is pretty scary, too. We're going to take a bit of damage here. I guess we're still going to get two shot by the Dragapult. Because the horror energies. Oh, no. Now we need to get a Delmize down. Yeah, this is a pretty... That was a bad Marnie, bro. We got a bunch of energy, which we can't really do much with. Like, we have to discard all the energy, which makes Crushing Hammer more scarier. Hmm. We'll see what we draw. I don't even know what we can draw at this point. We're probably going to have to Dedenne this hand away. I mean, you're trying to find a Delmize or something. The horror, the double horrors is what kind of scares me. I think that just makes it harder for us. Because now we can't live a turn. The double horrors are pretty bad for our egg row. So we have to try to get a Delmize V in play and then maybe go Delmize V Max. I don't know. We'll see. This isn't going to be easy. The double horrors just kind of get my opponent really far ahead in the game. They can two-shot me. Unless I get a Malon off, which we could still do. Yeah, Max Phantom... We heal 30, and yeah, it's not going to make a difference. Okay, there's Dow Mines right off the gate. All right, cool. We'll Voltage Beat. Get energy on the active. Get energy here. Quick Ball for... Okay, Dedenne is prized. We have to go Crobat. We have three, two Tag Calls and two Mallow and Lanas. Let's see if we can find a Mallow and Lana this turn. No. We do have Cheryl, though, which is kind of clutch. Hmm. I feel like we're just going to lose because we they knock me out. We have to go through another Dragon Ball, but they're already going to have damage built on my Rillaboom. It's not looking very good, to say the least. That's like the best way to put it. It's not looking good. We can try to use Cheryl, though. All right, let's just bench Krikatoon. We could just use Tropical Hour now just to do 200 damage. I don't think it makes a difference, though. It doesn't matter what we do. We can always save our Jex attack. Let's just Calming Hurricane them for 150. We heal 30. If we had a big Charm on, we would have survived the turn. So that's unfortunate. They do just enough to kill me, too. If only we had, like, a big Charm in the deck. That's why I wanted to find Malo and Lana. So now we just have to hope uh, Delmize can win us. I don't know if it will. I feel like we're just going to lose because we have... We have a Crobat in play now, so they can just, like, knock that out and Rillaboom. I think we're just going to lose this game at this point. It's not looking good. We have Cheryl, which is, like, might be our might be our best best chance to win this is to, is to use Cheryl at the right moment. Cheryl, I think, is going to be very clutch in this game. Assuming we keep our hand, too, we might end up getting Marnied. I mean, they're down two Marnies, though, but they have infinite access to Marnie. But I didn't do anything really with my hand. I didn't play a supporter, right? So they don't have an incentive to Marnie me. They could stamp me, I guess, when we knock them out. Yep, I knew it. They're playing Crushing Hammer. Then we get two of them. Definitely make things more complicated on my Dalmise here. Here we go. Will they get heads? They do. There goes my energy. Very fair and balanced. Love to see it. How much HP does Dragapult have? 170. So we have to swing and chain them. Or max anchor them. Nice. The Crushing Hammer heads. Outplayed. Outplayed. All right, we can try to play Krikatoon here. Ah, oh, I was gonna say, I'm hoping they hit the Rillaboom. We can heal all the we can heal it with Cheryl. The hammer's a little annoying because now we can't Cheryl in the active and like reattach. We need to get like a Marnie this turn. Let's see if we top deck. Oh my god, one card off of the Malin Lana. Ah! Nah, we have it for next turn at least. At least we have it for next turn. I guess. Now we can cricket tune for one, I guess. We'll have to do that. Let's try to draw some cards here. Yeah, cricket tune for one seems good. Just to get some cards, you know. To be fair, we might we could just play the Cheryl now and just heal the Rillaboom. I don't think that makes a difference though. I'd rather save it for this. 
But you know what? And to be fair, though, I don't think we're going to get much value out of the Cheryl. Because we have to find energy in Rod, and I don't think we will. All right, let's just Cheryl the Rillaboom. Let's just heal the Rillaboom then. Make it harder for them to try to take the last prizes. I don't know. We have Maulana for Dalmize. I'm not too worried about it. The next turn we get Maulana. It's going to be a little tricky, though, to knock out this last Dragapult. I guess Maulana is just a curious. Uh, we need some way to get energy back, so they're going to crush and hear me. There we go. We got a Rod. Nice. There's Tadene, finally. All right, not bad. We need, we'll have to Maulana into the Krikatoon and move it. Best case scenario, my opponent whiffs all crushing hammers. They're probably going to be able to find all their hammers here. They can they have one in their hand. They can find another Inteleon. They can get all the hammers out of the deck. They could try to go triple hammer here. Which could be devastating if we don't find an energy. Could be devastating. If we don't get energy here. Dead Yelgrunt. So we can still win this. We just got to go Max Anchor, Swinging Chain. That's not too hard. We can go Max Anchor. If they try to hide, we can just Swinging Chain it. We just got to pray that my opponent doesn't take their take the win soon. I don't know. We'll see. This is why the Cheryl was so clutch on the uh, Rillaboom. Because it was just, it's good to heal it, you know? I mean, I guess with what our hand looks like now off our off the prizes we took, we could have got, oh no, they killed my Krikatoon. Yeah, now we just lose. Well, actually, no, we don't. We can still Maulana the Crobat. We'll Maulana whatever they hit here with Max Phantom. Oh, but they're going for the full crushing hammer. Then we have to bench to Dene. All right, this is going to get a little sketchy, guys. This is going to get a little sketchy. Yeah, they're going for their last hammer swings. Hopefully they go 0 for 2 and 2, and two please. Please, please, crushing hammer, stop getting heads. Come on, here we go. Oh, dang it. All right, if they get this last heads, we could be in a lot of trouble. If they get this last heads, could be bad. 4 for 4. 4 for 4. Nice. Just outplayed. Out freaking played. Outplayed. All right. Well, the good news is they can't play another Inteleon or Drizzle, so they can't do anything. So we have the Malon of the Rillaboom here. Hold on. What's in the discard we can get back? I guess we do want Krikatoon. Yeah, I got outplayed, guys. I got outplayed. All right, well, Voltage Beam. Still have the weak guards, right? We still have some energy. We have to rely on Dene to find some energy. I'm not sure how good that'll be, but we'll see. Was, <laughs> they went 4 for 4 on the Crushing Hammer. I mean, there's not much we can do about that. That's just really lucky. That is just some bad luck on my end. Here we go. We need to find energy here. We don't find it. We have Krikatoon. I mean, we can play Krikatoon, I guess. I want the Krikatoon here. Maybe Krikatoon can find it. Two cards. Come on, energy. One time. Now we just lose because we didn't get energy, right? Well, we don't just lose, but it's like, yeah, that's just bad. Yeah. There's nothing I can really do. I don't know how we're winning this now. Because we can't two-shot the Dragapult. I don't think. We needed to do 90 damage. Right? We're going to be... Even if... Okay, if we had a Vitality Band here, we actually could two-shot them. We can still try to, like, hold off on, like, Malolana. So it's not... It's not over yet, but, like, it's not looking good. We can hit them. Yeah, if we had a Vitality Band, we could have went Vitality Band and then Max Anchor would have killed them with a Band on too. So we would have been able to... Okay, we needed Energy or Vitality Band off of that Dedenne there. We'll see if my opponent can cook up here. It's probably just game over though. They're just gonna... They're one boss away from winning now. We just got unlucky. They they got four Crushing Hammerheads. What the heck can I do? What, what can I do about that? You know, just out outskilled. Out. How much HP do we have? 150? The only way we could win is if we were able to heal whatever they hit here. They might not have boss. There's a chance they don't have boss in their hand. We'll see. Okay. We have to do this. Evolve. Balloon. 
Cricketoon. Oh, there's Vitality Man. Not much I can really do. If they just have boss, they have boss. If they don't have boss, I guess we can win the game. I have no stamp in the deck, so... Yeah, if they just have boss, we just lose. We'll see if they have it. Yeah. They have it, they have it. We... Mm, that's all I can do. If they have it, they have it. Just max ink. It doesn't really matter how you see going to that. We were so close. So damn close. But literally 10 damage away from winning the game. But those hammers, man. If only we didn't lose all of our energy there, we could have potentially won the game. They still can't find Drizzle or anything to do like a boss. So they have to just have boss in their hand or they have to draw it. There's still a chance. There's still a chance. They can't one-shot me this turn. Unless they have a Vitality Band or a Goon. All right, we won. Yeah, we got him. Holy crap, Dalmice. Thank you for having 330 HP. I really appreciated that. I really... Thank you for having 330 HP, my guy. You are an absolute legend. And we got him. I how, I did not expect to win that. I, I, I didn't think we were winning that game. Throughout the entire match, my opponent... They put on a lot of pressure. They killed my egg route really early on thanks to the horror energies. They got four freaking crushing hammerheads. Removed all my energy, and then I whipped the energy, and we still pulled through the win. That was super close. The big thing is they just needed a Sobble so they could grab Drizzle, so they could grab Boss. So we got really lucky there. We got really lucky we won that. Dalmize, thank you for having 330 HP, my guy. You are a beast. I right, get into another match here with the Dalmize Rillaboom deck. We'll see what we're playing against. Okay, we lose coin flip. Will we go first or second? We want to go second, so we can do turn one egg route. All right, nice. We're going second. All right, let's see what we're up against. Um, ooh, this hand, though, is not very good. Oh, no. Not looking great. And they didn't mulligan either, so we have to rely on our top deck or hope they play a random reset stamp. Okay, they're... Duskull? Wait, what? What am I up against? I'm kind of confused. Oh, Luxray. Oh, they're playing a Mustard deck. They're playing Mustard. Okay, never mind. All right. Yeah, they're playing Mustard. Okay. Do they have a turn one Mustard? That'd be pretty insane if they do. Well, they have a, they have two cards. It's likely. I'm waiting. You guys might be wondering why I haven't done a Mustard video yet. Because there's no, there's no good partners for Mustard in Standard. Like... The only one I can think of was playing it with uh, Urshifu, Rapid Strike Urshifu with a Coco Prism. So you could do like a turn one Rapid Flow. That's the only Mustard deck I thought of. But like even that's like, you'd just rather play normal Urshifu. <laughs> okay, there we go. We drew it. All right. Um, I think we do want a hard retreat. We'll save the Maulana. Maulana is pretty important. Um, We could boss the Oranguru here. I actually kind of like that. They could put like a Tower of Water or whatever and play that Stadium card that gives Rapid Strikes a Fruit Tree cost. So might as well just bring in the Guru. Just buy yourselves a few turns, which is what we need. We need a few turns here. Or next turn, we can just go chase whatever they bench. If they do get the turn... Well, Luxray has 150 HP, right? So if they bench that, we can just knock it out. That feels pretty good. But there's the Octillery. So they have the Mustard. They can Dusk all their hand away and Octillery or the Mustard and put a Luxray in play for free. Um... We'll see if they do that, or if they maybe get like an Urshifu VMAX in play, that could be pretty interesting. I do think that Luxray with Mustard is actually good and expanded because um, it's good against Togekiss VMAX. Nope. Okay, so it's a pure Luxray deck. Hmm. Yep, there they go. Alright, my opponent, you've seen it here first, folks. My opponent got the turn one Mustard. Turn two Mustard, not turn one. We'll see if they can follow up. We could KO their Duskull and make it harder for them to get things going, but I think we do just chase the Lux right here. Let's see if they can find a switching card. Now I kind of regret playing the boss, to be honest, because we can, like, boss the Lux race twice. I kind of regret playing the boss now. Aggro is really good in this matchup, but all at the same time, if they don't play Mew, Swinging Jane is pretty insane, too. We can Swinging Chain, 3 energy, KO, KO Duskull. We can do a lot of stuff with Swinging Chain. We're not getting there just yet, though. We are unable to find a supporter or a draw card or a Pokecom or a Quick Ball. Just going to boss a Luxray, knock it out, calming Hurricane. Do feel a little bad, but we don't have much supporter, so my opponent can still put pressure on me. 
Okay, there we go. We finally got Delmize. So we can set up for Delmize. If they don't get a Mew down, we can start swinging chaining their bench and just putting pressure on their bench and knocking out their bench. You know, avoid the active hit their bench. If they don't get a Mew, we'll need our Eldegoss for boss. Okay, there's a Quick Ball. Duskull. They're probably going to... They're going to get another... Yeah, they can do Mustard again. Oh, they're playing Mind Chow too. Okay, they have a lot of attackers. Well, not a lot of attackers. They have a lot of interesting cards. I I don't know. I'd rather just play Rapid Strike Urshifu, though. I don't know. I like, I like the idea, though. But yeah, we're, I'm just waiting for more Mustard targets to come out before I start making videos on Mustard. Again, in Expanded, it might be cool with Luxray and Urshifu. But in Standard, it's there's really no good partner. Like, putting a Luxray in play isn't really that good, in my opinion. Um, in this in the standard format, Luxray is pretty trash. <laughs> okay, they got another mustard. There we go. Let's see if they can attack me here. They're probably gonna get. An, they're probably gonna get an energy. Yeah, they can't do rapid strike energy though. And scar strikes. Oh, maybe we just keep doing Rillaboom because like or egg grab because the problem is they can confuse me. I mean, we want to save our switching cards for when they confuse me. Oh, they don't attack me. Let's bench this. Voltage Beat, keep thinning the deck out until we can finally get a supporter or something that can get us into a better spot. We'll just knock him out this calming hurricane. I don't think Tropical Lower would have been very good. We could reset their energy by a turn. That's actually useless because they're just going to attack me with Mind Chow. So now this is going to be the turn where we want to go Swinging Chain. To be fair, I think if we can draw an energy here, we could... Well, we have to draw a Grass Energy. We actually can do 150 with Swinging Chain and knock out the Luxray, which would be kind of hilarious. How many mustard do you think they play? Do you think they play four? Because they're they might not have unlimited mustards, you know. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe my opponent does have a decent deck. I don't know. I again, I I feel like this deck would be a little bit better if you just played Urshifu in place of Mind Chow. Because Rapid Flow does combine pretty well with uh, Luxray's attack, so I don't know. Maybe I'll try my opponent's deck out. I don't know, maybe I maybe I should play Mustard Luxray Urshifu. If you guys want to see that, let me know. I don't know. I mean, it's fun to play Mustard because it's just Archie's Ace in the whole part too. Uh, oh, we drew Bird Keeper. That's actually pretty good because we can draw cards. So we can go Evolve into Delmize. Voltage Beat. Okay, we have one energy left. So we're not going to be able to go for the Swinging Chain. We get Bird Keeper. Weakness Guard. We can finally do Den Air Crowbar. We can Eldegoss. I'm going to hold the hand. We're just going to Swinging Chain here. We can't knock out anything but the Duskull, so that's going to have to be the Swinging Chain target is Duskull. We could also have two-shot the Luxray or the Octillery, which might have been decent, but we'll take the prize because there's a chance they probably play Mew, and if they get Mew down this turn and we hit the Luxray to two-shot and then Swinging Chain is for nothing anyway, so we may as well Swinging Chain the Duskull. Fine by me. Honestly, if... They don't bench Mew. I might just keep chasing those Mind Foos. Because Mind Chow's a little annoying because of the confusion. Oh, there's a stamp the four. Well, there goes our hand. Well, that's fine. Do we get? Okay, we got Bird. Yeah, Bird Keeper's fine. We'll hold the hand because we just want to make sure we're having switching cards in our hand. So we'll save the hand. Just not going to play anything. See if they get a Mew. They don't get a Mew down. They bench a Mind Foo. Yeah, that thing is going to get swinging chained. We're just going to swing the chains and knock out any of their threats they bench. The Luxray is kind of a threat, but they can't two-shot me, so I'm not really worried about that. I'm more worried about the mine. We're just going to keep swinging chain the mine foo. Oh, they're going to go for the 100. Okay, so they're going to set up... But that didn't even two-shot me. That's actually... Yo, this thing is a tank. 230 HP, but I'm telling you, it's good. So we can knock out the Luxray here, but we can always do that next turn. We can... I guess we can fully heal the like, Delmize you're talking about with Calming Hurricane. I don't know, actually. I like just doing Swinging Chain and then doing the uh, heal next turn. I don't know, the Mind Chow is just really scary. Yeah, let's just knock out this Mind Foo. I think. I think that's the right play. I mean, hopefully it is. We'll see what our prize is. Um, and now we can bench... Bench Delmize, maybe? I don't know. I think that was fine, because they can't one-shot me, right? There's no, like... There's no way they can one-shot me this turn. They could do 200 damage. We don't even have to do Malana. We can just Bird Keeper. We don't have to Malana, you know? Like, we can let the Delmize go down. It put in a lot of work. It did put in a lot of work. So we don't have to. We don't have to Malana it. I think this doesn't make a difference. But I don't know. We'll see. I think my opponent has to pull off another Mustard this turn to stay in the game. 
Okay, look at that. They do play a shrew. Okay, now we're definitely doing Mallow and Lana because they're going to be able to rapid flow it because we don't play Mew. Oh, maybe they can't get Urshifu. Well, no, they have to have it. They're going to comp for the Urshifu back, right? Okay, no, they're finally going to get the Mew. Okay, they finally got the Mew down. So now Swinging Chain loses some of his value. What's in their hand? If they do actually put an Urshifu VMAX in play. Okay, no, they're just going to muster it again. All right, my opponent's deck's kind of lit. Not gonna lie, I kind of like it. I, maybe, maybe just playing the mind, maybe playing mind shout Luxray and Urshifu all in one deck. Maybe that's just the way to play the mustard deck. To be fair, I don't know. Now we'd have to put the Malana now. Now we know they play uh, Urshifu in the deck. Ooh, and a capture energy too. Jeez. Oh, but they fail it. Okay, so they don't play. They don't play baby Urshifu. They just have the rapid strike Urshifu for the mustard. I gotta imagine they have a Coco Prism somewhere in the deck too. There's no way they don't play a Coco Prism in this deck. Yo, I kind of like my opponent's deck though. This is a decent. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. 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 I don't know. Maybe my opponent's got something going on here and that's like interesting. Hmm. Now we got a Goss from Alon, I think, going to Egg Row. I do want to try to Tropical Hour them at some point. That could be pretty big too, getting a Tropical Hour off. Hmm. Cause it might be a bit hard to win this. They have no Crabat or Dedenium play, and they have no they have don't even have an Urshifu, so it's gonna be a little hard to win. I don't know. Three comms, yes sir, that's what we really needed. Uh Goss, yes, it's in the deck. Oh, we can't mount on it. We don't have one in the discard. Why did I think that? We can Dedene. Hmm. I might just take the knockout here. We do have Beast Game. Okay, we actually have Beast Game to work with. We have Vitality Band. We do, right? Yeah. We still have Beast Game. We can always try to Cheryl the Delmise too, which could be good. I might be looking at a hard retreat here. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think, I'm gonna, I think I am at a hard retreat. Not sure what I want to grab, though. Might Dedene the hand away, but I also don't want to give him a Dedene. I will Dedene the hand away. That's fine. I'm fine with this. Because we can maybe get a Cheryl or something. Or a Malana. Yeah, it seems good. Cheryl, Malana. Malana works, I guess. All right. Because they can Electro Step kill me, I'm pretty sure. All right, we'll get Buzzmosa too. We are revealing we do play, but I don't think that matters. This is Malana. Then we can't get knocked by Electro Step. <laughs> Delmice is a tank. And then we can just go do this, then up the deck, and then common hurricane. We're not gonna bench Grookey because they could rapid strike it, rapid flow it, whatever you call it. And all right, we're chilling. They can't kill my egg route, can they? Nope. This guy is 10 damage short thanks to the heal. Haha, uh -huh, look at that. All right. Yeah, I do want to Cheryl this Delmize at some point. And then we have to raw the energy back, but mainly I do want to get a Cheryl off on this Delmize. That is one of my main goals at this point is to try to Cheryl and heal the Delmize. So I think at that point, we kind of checkmate my opponent. Our other win condition, honestly, can just be like knock out me with beast game. Then we need to go boss. We need boss and band to do that. Octillery is weak to lightning, right? Yeah, it's not weak to grass. So we have to beast. Well, they could bench on the dust gall. Maybe we should have let their dust gall live because that could have been the beast game target. Yeah, if they had a dust gall in play still, we'd actually win this turn because we could just go beast game, knock out the dust gall for the game. So if we actually kept the dust gall alive. Maybe we could have been fine, but then we wouldn't have gotten the prize anyway, so we still would have had to take three prizes. But I guess if we kept the Dusk all alive, that could have been the Beast Game target. I don't know. We'll see. It does suck not being able to do Swinging Jane anymore, though. Not gonna lie. The Mew definitely is a problem, but it's fine. Yeah, I want to try to get a Cheryl, but I don't know if we're going to draw it. Might have to do Malon again. I mean, we might have to let the Delmise fall, to be honest. It might have. We might have to let the Delmise fall. It does have 150 HP, so we can't get knocked by Rapid Flow, which is good. 330 HP, man. This means a tank. Okay, my opponent just scoops the game. All right, there we go. We got him. But that'll be it for the video, guys, on the Delmise deck. Um, yeah, Delmise VMAX, it is slept on. In my opinion, I think it's a pretty underrated card. I don't think it's amazing, like, super great, best format defining, you know, card ever printed. But I don't know, man. Delmise VMAX, it's fun to play, and it's actually not bad. Swinging Chain is a good attack. Swinging Chain is honestly really good when combined with Max Anchor. So I don't know. I think Dalmice Max is pretty low-key busted. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe down below. If you're new to the channel, help me on the road to reaching 17,000 subs. Check out Car Cabin down below. Use code LDF to get any codes.
Uh, check out the socials, my Twitch, my Twitter, my Patreon. And make sure to tune into my Twitch on uh, Friday for some uh, some chilling rain content. So I'll see you guys later.